How's it going everyone? It's Joe. Today we're going to take a look at the Hot Toys Age of Ultron Iron Man Mark 45 Movie Masterpiece Series diecast. As you can see, the packaging is identical, not identical, but it looks similar to the Mark 43. If you actually own one, the packaging looks the same, but look, just a different picture of the Iron Man. And the side of the box. And the back, and the other back is where the cast and the crew who created the Mark 55. Okay, and on the other side, you can see an Iron Man's palm right there. And the front again. Now let's take a look at the accessories while you get inside the box. First, you get a pair of flight hands, where you can see flames coming out of his hand right there. And the flames are not removable. And it feels like it's glued on. And the fingers right there is not articulated, but you can bend them. Right, a little tiny bit right there. And I really like the bow damage going on on the top of his hand right there. Okay. Next, you get a pair of articulated hands. So, there's three parts of the finger that you can bend. There's also bow damage going on right there. You get a pair of these flames which actually goes on the bottom of his foot. Okay. You also get a pair of repulsor hands as well. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at the battle damage sentry. And there's beautiful details going on all over the chest right there. And this part of his shoulder, you can rotate it 360. And actually you can pop it out if you want to create your own scene. And it's in this peg there. You just plug it back in. And the sentry head, you can rotate it 360. And you can actually pop it off if you want. It's also great scoping all around the head right there. So you just pop that back in, like so. And the back. Okay. You also get a pair of these little la these lasers, and which is bendy plastic. which these goes on on his arm so you can do the like shooting his laser out of his arm or something okay and you get the battle damage chest piece which I really like okay that's it for the accessories Now this is the Mark 55 right here and I am super pumped right now because I've been waiting over a year to get this piece and it's finally released and the outcome of the paint job that they redid was amazing because they used like a type of metallic paint on the suit and it actually came out very good.
Okay, so I'm going to zoom in and let you guys take a look at the helmet. And look at the design and the reflex of light as well. It gives it that metal finish, which is really, really good. Okay, I'm going to give it a good spin. You can see all the battle damage effects going on around the side of his helmet. Okay, now I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the detail of the chest area. You can see power damage going on right here. On the back. Very nicely designed. And even the toes are different from the previous Iron Man's as well. Okay, I'll let you look at the arms. You can see there's some scoping right there. Really nicely done. All the details going on. Okay. Now let's take a look at the articulation for the Mark 45. His head can rotate 360. Like that. And his head can go up this far up, this far down. Okay, now for his arms, lift that, lift this arm up like that, pull this in, in, in inner section out, this bit here, and his arms can rotate 360, like so. Okay, now he has two points of articulation on his arm right there. Okay, now for his chest, he can rotate so so, like so, and pop this bit out, and then pull it again, so this part pops out, so you can do wide range of the movement, like that, or any dynamic poses that you wish. So this piece, you can move it around. Okay, let me pop that back in. Now, for his legs, his legs can go out. Just lift this piece up. And you can lift this piece up as well, so he has wide range of wide range movement on his leg, like that. So the articulation is very good. Now he has two points of articulation, and for his toes, you can flip this bit out like the sole, and he has more articulations on his toe, like that.
and pop that back in. Then you can actually move this part as well in the back of his foot. So you can go back a bit more to do his fly pose. A lot of you guys have been asking me, when you're doing the review, do you know if we're able to pop on Tony Stark's head on the Mark 45 suit? I don't have a Tony Stark on display to show you guys. So what I can do is actually pop the Mark 45's head off. And you guys, if you do know, you know whether it will fit, let me know. So basically, it's on a, on a ball joint. And this neck piece right here is not removable. It's glued on or it's all in one piece of the armor. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys the inner workings of the suit, which I, I forgot to cover earlier. And the inner workings, the details on it is spectacular. And even the arc reactor, I think that's new as well. Okay. Okay, while we're here, I'm going to put on his bow damage chest piece as well. And I think, me personally, I like the cleaner version. It's a lot more metallic finish, but this one's a lot duller. It, if this figure came with more battle damage parts, I'd probably use this chest piece, but it, it only comes with this battle damage chest piece, so I don't think I'll use it. Okay, so I'm going to turn him around as well. I'm going to show you his air brakes. Okay, now you guys probably are wondering those lasers what do you do with it so let me pop this out okay and then what you need to do is a little piece here that you can pull out like that just pop it out basically just use your nails or the little tool that comes with a figure and just plug it in like I probably won't use it because it is pretty long and I don't know what pose I'm gonna pose this figure with with lasers so I doubt I'll be using that you probably can do this pose or something okay Now I want to share with you guys my final thoughts of the figure. The figure is very well built and it's very solid. It's got tons of articulation. They sculpted a lot of details, a lot of bow damage effects. And what really actually amazed me was the paint application from the prototype to the figure that's actually out today, what I'm showing you right now, they're using metallic paint and it really brings the figure to life. So other than that, I'm very happy. There's few nitpicks that I don't really like was, they only gave us a battle damage chest piece, which I wish they could have gave us some battle damage gauntlets or five pieces that we can change. And I wish they could have gave us like a Tony Stark helm, like a face sculpt or, you know, anything. Other than that, I'm very happy with the, with the figure. End of the day, it's die cast, it's very heavy. And I love it a lot. While I have you guys here, I want to thank you for your continuous support of my channel. Thank you all so much. I'll do my best to bring you more figure reviews that you guys can see the actual figure before considering pushing that buy button. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe for more upcoming reviews and most importantly thank you for watching. Peace out till next time.
Peace. Yeah, Joe All Young, Vicky Junkie, he got it going on. From the UK, but now we're Hong Kong. Fresh reviews coming through for all y'all. Iron Man, Batman, Spider Man, all of them. Reviewing them, collecting them. Movie masterpieces, reviews, Terminator, Predator. Star Wars, you gotta like, share, and subscribe. These videos be straight fire. Vicky Junkie, hit subscribe. Them videos be so fly, yeah.